Hi there friends, welcome back to Mr. 3D. Today we will be taking a look at an amazing blender add-on known as Population, made available by B Production, which simplifies the process of crafting impressive crowd simulations. And in this video, I'm going to show you how Population saves you a lot of your precious time. Click the top link in the description which will bring you right to the product page where you can read more about it. You can also try out the free version if you want to experience the quality firsthand before making a decision. So without further ado, let's get you going. So once you have it downloaded, fire up Blender and I'm going to open up a scene in which I will demonstrate how to use population. Then go over to edit, preferences and do all the installation stuff. Once you have it installed, close preferences, then press N on your keyboard and here you can see that we have a new panel called B production. Click on it and then you will see the population panel. So here we have crowd creation where we have a single mode and the crowd mode. Under single we have walk and run and ambient. And under crowd we have a lot of these features which we'll take a look at later in this video. So here under style you get 48 3D photo scanned characters which are divided into three categories casual, sport and business. So select any character you want. Let's say I want this one. And here you get 55 high quality motion capture animation which you can apply to any character in the library. So I'm gonna go with let's say maybe dance. You get these. Select any of these from here. Then you have the low poly and the high poly version. So if you're not going to make close-up animations then you have to use the low poly version since it saves you a lot of your memory. And the HD version is for the close-up shots. I'm gonna go with the low poly version and then make sure to check the random color. So if you import this character twice then the clothing will have different colors which is what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and place my cursor right here then I'm gonna click import. And it's gonna take a second to import and here you can see that we have the character and it's dancing then you can also choose another character change the animation and then import it right over here super easy perfect now we're gonna take a look at the walk run option under the categories of animation you can only see the walk and run animations because these are the only one which are going to work in the walk run you won't see any other animation so let's say we want this and then select the character you want right here click on import since you're in the walk and run panel when you hit the import button you can see that your cursor changes to a pencil and you can just go over to the top view by pressing numpad 7 then click and drag to make a curve and here you can see that the character appears right here and of course you can add multiple curves if you want to so I'm going to add one right here as well and if you at some point want to edit your curve you can simply do that you can select this and then scale so on and so forth to customize your curve then you can go out of the object mode and here you can see that we have the character walking on the street and imagine how much time it saves you doing this manually will take you like with this add-on you can do this in just few seconds amazing now you can see that under adjustments we got some settings you can increase the spline spread width which basically increases the width between each character then you have random start where you randomize the start location of the characters and you can also reverse it like so this is how this works and uh, yeah you can always go back and forth and select a new character then click on import again and do over and over again. So now that you know how this works let's move on to crowd. To show you how to use these I'm going to open up a new scene, delete the default cube, add a plane, scale it to 10 and uh, there you go. Now press N, go over to the B production panel, under crowds you have the classic mode, you have cluster follow curve, grid mode and stadium mode. So first we are going to look at classic mode. Under classic you have to select the object on which you want to have your characters on and then select a bunch of different characters and animations and then click on add a new person. Then select the other character and then add. You can see that we are adding different characters which will all be scattered one by one. So I would like to go with three for now. 
and then I'm going to click on import and it's gonna take a few seconds all right so there you have it you can see all these characters right here and if you press playback you can see they are all moving and talking to each other so on and so forth so how to customize this well you simply have to go over to the adjustments panel you have the random seed which will randomize the position of the characters you have random rotation for example if you want all of them to look at one place you can just do that and you can randomize it from here as well then you have density which you can increase or decrease depending on how many characters you want you have the minimum distance between characters in case they are you know intersecting each other you can fix that you have cluster mode and the cluster means few of the people are going to be at one place and so on and so forth then you have the cluster proximity you get cluster empty area as well so you kind of have to play around with these settings to get the best results and you can also make your crowd look at a certain object so if i add a empty or any other object and then just move it around select the object under the look object option and here you can see that all the characters are looking at this object and if you move this around you can see how it just makes them look so yeah that's it for classic mode let's go over and uh, look at the cluster mode i have all these characters in the list so i don't have to add them again and then click on import and now it's gonna take a few seconds now here you have the clusters of people and under adjustments you can customize the settings as well now let's move on to follow curve so under follow curve we are going to remove all these characters that we had previously by clicking on remove going to select our character and we are going to use walk or run animation because we are using follow curve in follow curve we need walk and run animation that's why we are going to use these so i'm gonna select this one and then hit add new and then the other character with a different animation and another character with a running animation like this one now we have three of these and you can go ahead and click on import it's gonna take few seconds all right now you can see that we are in the curve edit mode now you can go over to the top view click and drag around to create a curve and there you go you can see that all the characters are following the curve and are random and you can customize the curve however you want super easy and under adjustments you have the seed to randomize the characters then you have the count of the characters and the spline position seed as well so on and so forth you have random start option just like before and that's it for the follow curve now let's move on to grid mode so for that i am going to delete all of this stuff and under grid mode i'm going to select maybe this character and you can see that the run category of animations is empty because we cannot use the run in the grid mode we can use communication daily life dance working sport so on and so forth so i'm going to use communication maybe this one and i'm going to remove the previous characters click on add new now we have three characters click on import it's gonna take few seconds and you will see the grid mode right there and here you can see that we have all these characters so you can change the size on the x-axis then the size of the grid on y-axis you can increase the count of the characters so on and so forth you have the seed then you have the random rotation just like that you can randomize the position maybe like so and you can just make them talk so on and so forth you can use the stagger value to shift characters back and forth just like that and that is how this works and also you have the look object option which we previously talked about so that's it for the grid mode now let's move on to stadium so for that i'm going to remove these characters all right so i quickly made these stadium like seats and all of these seats have their origin at center you need that for it to work i have also separated all of these chairs into a collection and you have to select that collection right here and then i'm going to go ahead and click on import and there you have it you can see all of these characters are standing on the seats that we have created and you can change the rotation of the characters from adjustments or from the modifiers panel so i'm going to go ahead and rotate it and then i can move them a bit up just like that and now you can go ahead and play see how the animation looks 
and there you have it now you can also add people chaining so on and so forth which will make your scene more alive and there you have it fellow artists using the population add-on you can effortlessly populate your scenes with as many people as you like it's gonna take your environment creation to a whole new level saving you so much time and elevating the realism of your projects so go ahead and give it a try let me know what you guys think about population in the comment section below also you can check some of my previous videos and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up if you are new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace